Okay, so I'm going to call this phase the preliminary research phase and maybe also uh, the phase where they go and explore a bunch of UNESCO sites. Uh, it could be local sites. One thing that you must be aware of is that 3D models are rare and harder to find. So, you know, you might not find a local heritage site or a local historical site uh, in the database. You might. And often what guides the uh, process is what's available. So you might have wanted to do some fancy heritage sites, but for some reason you couldn't find a model. Okay, so one of the things you could do is start right away in the 3D Warehouse website and just type in uh, heritage, heritage sites and press enter and always click on not products, but models. Okay. And so then you'll see a whole bunch of them. And maybe that's where you want to start from. Because here's the challenge. The challenge is, uh, like, I actually wanted one and I did find it. So I wanted the Canterbury um, uh, Church. So here it is. I'm just going to research it. And again, click on models. And there it is. So I was able to find that. And so what you're really doing with your students here is, you know, exploring some heritage sites and then narrowing it down to what they can find. And then once they found one, so this is kind of a tech check. So what that means is they found one, but just because they found it, it's still not guaranteed to be good. So what they have to do uh, before they go and really research it in depth is do what I call a tech check. So meaning... Can I bring it in? Will it look kind of okay? And if it does, well, then I keep it and then I do my research. Okay. So I've already downloaded this one. And um, what I'm going to do now is go to Twin Motion and open it to do a text check. So in, in Twin Motion, which is easy to open, we already talked about that. You just click Import, Open, go to wherever the file was downloaded. Uh, and this is something you should spend a little bit of time talking about with your students because often they just download things r just wherever without thinking. And that's a real mistake that beginners usually do. And that could be the only technical hiccup you'll almost have with all this is, so I downloaded this here. I'm going to open it before I actually uh, import it. I want to check this off. So this will fix some of the errors that you will find. Now, it'll probably work even if you don't do it. But, it, you know, again, this is the tech check, right? We're trying to see, okay, I found a really cool 3D model on the 3D warehouse. And now, remember I said in the instructions, the outside is really what I'm most interested in. And one of the things I'm going to show you, and it depends on the model. There's so many different ones. And, th you know, this one is really cool. I really like it. Uh but I already know there's some issues with it. So when I click on it, you see how everything that's that yellow is one material. So this was really a basic model. And, you know, every time I click on something different, it means that's a different section. Okay. So really what I want to do now is just walk around and or navigate. Again, WASD. Maybe I want to press the three key to go a little bit quicker, uh, like we talked about in the previous video. And just... See, what does it look like from the front? That looks pretty good. Um, you know, one thing, a lot of these models are curved because the curvature of the earth, I think, is, is something that... And, you know, see, so you see here the door. And sometimes you're just going to have to go with whatever you got because you'll never get it perfect. But I'll show you a little trick. So over here, when you brought in this model, these are all the steps. Of the, but here at the top is the whole model. Okay, so I click this. Yeah, there's all these parts underneath it, but really the one I want to do is this one. And then if I select my, uh, I think it's the six key, I can move it up a little bit. Whoops, wrong one. Control Z is your friend. Let me do that again. Control Z, Z, okay. And then what I want to do is lift it up because I want the door to be open. Okay, now I'm going to go here and just because maybe, you know, my scene, the door is a really important one. And I'll notice that it is a, a little bit fl not flat. And we can fix that. Okay, there's a couple ways to fix it. Maybe one is simply to just rotate it. Each model will be different. Okay, Control Z. 
make sure you have this selected okay when you do that you know i'm going to try to see if i can do this uh oops i got the wrong the wrong thing here let me just go to my i'm trying to see it so that i can see this here is that it's too much and if what we can also do is just fix the earth around it okay so that might be what we're doing now this model is pretty good it definitely passes the tech check so if i brought it in and it just looked awful and maybe it was really this is easy enough to fill we can fill in the landscape around it and i want to remind it the one thing i said it was i was most interested in the outside and so this model passes the test so now the student if they had picked this model they would start researching about this cathedral so the world heritage site that they found okay so if you have any questions please let me know